Parkview is a wonderful learning community where we offer our young people a broad and balanced curriculum. We do not believe in limiting the options of young people, but we also do believe in high standards. We're very clear that if our young people are not achieving well, it will limit their opportunities in their future life. We're extremely diverse and we are equally proud to be at the heart of the West Green Tottenham community. We are fully confident that if your child chooses to join us at Parkview, they will be successful, they will enjoy their time, and most importantly, we will give them the skills that they will need to be a success in their future lives. Um, so maths is a really, really important subject, and at Parkview we take it really, really seriously, and we have redesigned the curriculum here, um, as there have been many changes in the government with how maths is delivered. So we have ensured that our curriculum is really, really tight, and ensures there's a lot of challenge for students coming in from Key Stage 2 into Key Stage 3. Something that's really important to us as a department is to make sure every single student leaves Parkview with the skills that they need to go on to do whatever they want to um, in terms of opening doors for colleges, universities and beyond, and but also the world of work. Here at Parkview we're really proud of being part of the community in Tottenham. We do a great deal of work working with people outside of school and inside of school and I think that's what makes us really inclusive. We are committed to improving our curriculum for every child and stretch and challenge is a key priority. So from the moment that Year 7s enter through the school gates, we are committed to stretching and challenging every child so that they can achieve their full potential. We are very pleased and proud of the excellent achievement of our student in 2016 exam result. Nationally, there has been a sharp decline in A star to C and A star to A grade. However, the proportion of our students achieving A star to C has increased by 10% from last year. We have also seen a significant rise in the number of uh, A star grades. The percentage of A star grade has more than doubled uh, from previous year, setting a new record. Uh, our top 10% uh, of the student shared and celebrated 83 AA star grades. When I chose music GCSE in year 10, I had to make my first composition, and my teachers thought that it would be successful, so they entered it in a competition, which I then came second place in, and I had to perform with a group of musicians in a showcase. And if it wasn't for the music department giving me that encouragement, I would have not have been that successful. So I'm here in charge of the Eden project, I'm the student manager and I look after the hens, I make sure everything's running smoothly and that is my role here. Uh, I have a really nice time, we come here every lunchtime to feed and water and clean out the hens, finish off any little jobs that need doing and it's really really lovely up here. So with the new curriculum and changes with English, uh, we are looking at being innovative this year. We have to be creative, we have to think about how to engage our students in the best way possible with Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 3. So this year is all about change and this year is all about us being the best that we can for our students to inspire them and inspire them to their best targets possible. Something that we're quite passionate about at this school is the independent learner qualities that we want to instill within your child. So we really want to make sure that by the end of year 11, when your child's ready to go into college or further education or their apprenticeships or whatever they choose to do, they've been given a whole spectrum of life skills and a great set of results to make sure that they can go on and achieve whatever they want in whichever field they want. We have a range of student voice and participation activities here at Parkview. One of these is the house system. We have four houses, oak, elm, cedar and maple. And every student will be in a house and have a house tie. They can work towards gaining achievement points in lessons for their Parkview learner skills, or they can take part in one of the many competitions we have over the year, including MasterChef, PE competitions, drama competitions, spelling bee, math challenge, and of course, sports day. Students have plenty of performance opportunities, which includes our winter showcase, where they can showcase their talents in music, dance and drama. We also host a whole school production event, where students come together to put on a full-scale musical production. 
I've been a member of the athletics team in the PE department for the last four or five years. We've had numerous championship wins. We've also had a few students that have made it to the Middlesex team as well as the national championships and competed in the national final last year. The Duke of Edinburgh is an extracurricular undertaking with four main components. The volunteering section allows students an opportunity to give back to the community. The skills building section helps students figure out what they're really good at. The physical section allows students to have fun while getting involved in their fitness and their health. And finally, the part I really love about the Duke of Edinburgh is the expedition. This gives students the opportunity to get out of the city, to take on a physical and a mental challenge, to feel the freedom and the responsibility of self-sufficiency, and to find out what they're really made of. From year seven, starting Park View, there were so many opportunities that were available to me. I went on the sports tour for netball, which was amazing because it's the first time I was away from home. The teachers took care of me and I just felt so much independence.